Virgo. What's up? What's good? What's happening? Welcome in if you're new. Welcome back if you're returning. I hope you guys are all doing amazing. This is going to be a general message, so take it. If it resonates, leave it. If it doesn't resonate or you just don't want to claim it, that's fine too. Go ahead and check out a different message though. See if that one does, uh, does more for you. We're going to get into it with the sacred, no, naked heart tarot. It's just a bunch of spirit animals. Don't worry. And then if we need to, we'll pull from the Gilded Tarot too, okay? So let's see what we got coming through for Virgo. Please and thank you, Spirit. Oh, I, I can feel someone that I know here. That's so cool. Thank you for being here. All right, let's see. For Virgo, the Moon, the Seven of Cups, and the Seven of Swords. I want to tell you to watch your Six O'Clock. The moon is illusions. The seven of cups is illusions and confusion. Things are not what the fuck they seem. Seven of swords. Somebody is pulling some shady shit behind the scenes. Your intuition is picking up on it though. I think you guys are advanced enough or you've studied enough to know that the divine is going to be very clear and straightforward. Okay. When you have confusion and illusions, that is negative energy. Somebody is not making sense. It's because they're trying to get away with something. This is somebody that is ghosting, meaning they're answering one part of your question, but they're completely ignoring the other part of your question. Or this is somebody who lying through their teeth, lying out the side of their neck. This is somebody that's just, they think they're getting away with shit. They're distorting the truth. But your intuition is picking up on it. So while this person is, uh, while you guys are having this conversation, you're like, I don't know if I believe that. You shouldn't. You should not believe that at all. At all. Mm -mm. Nope. The only kind of energies that are this confusing are very toxic and trying to get away with some shit. Complete distortion of what's really going on here. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. What else for Virgo? The star card? Yeah. You're going to rise above this situation. <clears throat> Listen to your heart. Listen to your heart. I know you want to believe this person. I know you don't want to believe that they would pull something like this with you. It's not going to work. Yeah, three of swords and the magician. Damn. It's almost like this person is trying to get in between you and somebody else or ostracize somebody in the friend group, somebody in the workplace, um, somebody in the family. It's like they're trying to point the finger and blame somebody else for what they know damn well they did. I'm hearing lies, straight lies. This person, it's always everybody else's fucking fault. They're always the victim. I know exactly who this is in my family. But it's okay, because I already have nothing to do with them. I'm done. I'm not going to fucking give them another chance. I've given them over 20 years of chances, and I'm just done. I'm so done. And I'm not the only one. I'm also not the only one that stood up for myself. It's interesting. Yeah, having a victory. Yeah. Wow. Wow, Virgo. You've been hanging on, hoping that this person would show up with that sort of truth, but they're just not. So you're like, you know what? I know what's really going on here, and it's it's unfortunate, but I'm going to have to leave you out in the cold. I'm going to have to just... <sighs> eight of Swords. Five of Pentacles, Eight of Swords. This person is absolutely fucking trapped in their past. They're always the victim. 
This is a hurt person that hurts people. This is someone who is trapped that's trying to trap other people. This is a narcissist. I'm so sick of fucking hearing that word and, and all that. I think that's just me personally because I'm realizing how many people around me are. And it's too many. It's too many. And this person, I know you didn't want to believe it about this person, but, oh, I smell weed. I quit, like, a while ago now. Well, not, like, too long, too long ago, but I smell it. Somebody smokes weed. For some of you, that's not for everybody here. Don't tell me that was the Queen of Wands. The karmic one. The karmic one. Could be a karmic woman, specifically. Yeah, it's, it's a fucking nightmare, man. Absolutely. All right, let me see. I'm hearing they talk too much about other people. Oh, so they're a gossiper. It's funny, too, because it's like... They want to put people down for something that they did when this person did it too. That's hypocritical. This person is a grade A piece of shit. But you're healing. You're healing just by pulling yourself away. Just by not listening to this person. Just by not allowing them to cloud your judgment or to confuse you. Or you know what I mean? Yeah, the high priestess. Again. Trust your gut. Trust your intuition. There could be a high priestess or maybe you're booking a reading, pulling your own cards. There could be somebody that's trying to let you know, like, hey. I do also feel like you can see right through this person. Look at that. Her outfit is transparent. You can see right through it. Like, whoever's trying to lie and cause this confusion and, and get away with some shit, you can see right through it. Yeah, Nine of Pentacles. And you're claiming your independence from this person. You're like, I want no parts of that because I'm trying to receive good things. I'm trying to keep myself clean and clear from all that nonsense, which has become your life. This person is like obsessed with talking about other people. But what are they working towards? What are they move like, what are you doing? You're so worried about what everybody else is doing. What are you doing? They need to focus on themselves instead of being so worried about everybody else. You can't control the people around you, but you can control who you allow around you. This person wants to control the people that are around them. And you're just like, bye then. Like... <laughs> This is somebody that's younger than you, Virgo. And definitely not as mature. Tower card. And the Five of Cups. They might act surprised that you don't want to deal with them anymore or that you're not answering their phone calls, but you are protecting yourself. Oh my gosh. This is totally like, I have a family member that's watching this right now. I can feel her energy. Do you remember when I told you there was something sitting outside your house trying to get in and how weird is it that you and I both know who this is, kept trying to come over and work in your garden? Remember I said I had to get rid of that energy and when I got rid of it, this person started showing up at your house to work on your garden. And then when she left, she'd come over here and she talks so much shit and be like, this happened, that happened, but don't tell her that, that I told you. I fucking knew there was a demonic energy attached to her and it's working through her to get to you and me. I fucking knew it justice <gasps> yeah and she's married to the aquarius truth be told dang all right so anyways for everybody else here sorry guys 
you are doing yourself justice by standing your ground. By keeping your walls up, by protecting yourself, by not letting this person come in your house. For standing up for yourself. Because you have every right to. You know what I mean? They're going to act surprised. But I mean, that's just because they wanted this to be the energy that they, you know illusion confusion so i can get away with shit not today not in this lifetime we know too much we've received the information that we need virgo could be dealing with the scorpio libra pisces aries aquarius Virgo, Gemini, or any other sign. You guys already know how it works. You can take on any sign at any time. So can everybody else. So, woo. I'm going to leave it there, you guys. The sad truth. Anyways, I love you guys. I'll see you soon. Until next time, please like, share, subscribe, and um, stay beautiful. Namaste.